Well, we are on the way, and he does hit a very good break. Yeah, I have noticed he's took a, a little off his break, though, and obviously, you know, Simon, these, these tables play very quick, and like the tables, the, the pockets are slightly generous because like the, the lights and always like new cloth, etc. But yeah, I think he's maybe just got the mindset, I'm just going to make sure I control the white, maybe, because the last thing you want to be doing is like always like an off of the white and stuff. Yeah, control that cue ball. And he gets first opportunity here in the quarterfinals for spot in the semi finals tomorrow night on the line. Yeah, I mean, the, the yellows look. I think that yellow up the top goes in by the red, um, but then he's got the problem ball with the, the yellow just below that because I think the yellow next to the the eight ball goes. Um, it's a it's a head scratcher of a finish for the opening frame, isn't yeah. it? One that kind of you feel like maybe there's an opportunity here, but it's there's work everywhere. Definitely. I mean, I, I don't think the eight ball goes below the yellow onto the right hand um, pocket as we look at it, um, but I think. I mean, all these reds have a pocket. Uh, that's the thing about reds. Um, it's just to navigate round about it. The, the, the red closest to the... Uh, he's just going to play just now to get the double. You might get into the eight ball here, no? It's the double as well. But yeah, as you say, it was a, it was a tricky wee opener. Um, neither, neither set were, were really quite easy. Um, but Ryan has been delighted to get a shot at the table when it's, when it's not your break. Yeah, and as we talked about last time, we saw Ryan, he's since then getting through to this stage, he's been away and he's had to play in event four, and that didn't go his way. Yeah, it was a nasty draw though, like yeah, he, against he, Morgan yeah, McInnes yeah, in the it's, it's first nice. round, tough it's, one. Because there's only, I think, four of uh, us Scots that obviously are, are on the, like the pro side of it, and the last thing you want to be doing is playing always the guys for your own country and stuff, but that's, that's what it is. That would have been nice if he'd flicked the red in, but I think that was more of a hope than anything else because I, I just try to hope something came out there. Yeah, I don't know if I can slide off the yellow maybe and play the, the loss of turn, Simon, and, and still hide the white. I think he might be able to just do that. Has he hidden the white? Oh no. Yeah, that's, that's actually not. He's actually, and I think. Jez can actually dig down because you can just cue by the, the knuckle. I think he can just screw over onto the, the side cushion and, and still be on his his other red into the into the opposite um right to the bottom right if you look at it now. Yeah, so attention now starts to turn back to the eight ball as it did when he was first at the table. Yeah, I it's mean, awkward. This angle it definitely doesn't look as if it goes. But I know you can get <laughs> you can get overlooked sometimes with, with the angles, but no, I definitely it can't, I don't think it can't go, there's no way. And the, the red to the left isn't good to, to try and attack, see, unless you are kind of close to the middle bag, the left middle bag. Um, you could just float over into the, the eight ball in the yellow. Um, but yeah, that's no. Is he playing this off the yellow? That's a tough shot from, yeah, that's from here. It'd have to be quite thin. I suppose it's just a straight shot, though. Yeah, that's what he was playing, and he would have been perfect. Yeah. It's not fallen for him. That's unlucky, I don't know. Um, I mean, always, always, all Ryan's yellows go now, but it's just the one below the eight ball. You, you need to get a good angle, come down to, to take it the, the left, the left side. But do you think if the red in the middle of the top half of the table doesn't go top left, you could play the the loss of turn now? Just use the one to the right of the cue ball and stun down and yeah. cue ball in those jaws. I, mean, I think it's just a case of the way people play nowadays, Simon. It's just the they want to attack it kind of every cost. I mean, I've seen Cole Bedford against Hitton there, and he refused a finish, and Hitton at 5-4 down, um, and he left Hitton. It was a one-cushion escape, but Hitton came out and potted the eight ball. And as the uh, lads were saying on commentary, he's probably wished he just went for the finish now. And yeah. I think it's it's a fine line sometimes, but I would still always rather go out kind of uh, having the finish than, than always like, thinking, what if I'd done that, what if I'd done this? But... Hindsight's a great thing, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you, that's the thing. You, you make the, you sort of live and die on yeah. those decisions, and you kind of got to stand by them. It's like people getting asked about the six reds. Like in an ideal world, you'd love to see what your opponent's going to do first before you would actually know where to put them first or second. Yeah, well, yeah, that's no, I mean, it. Yeah. It's a great decision when yeah. they go and set 35 seconds, exactly. but not, not, not when they set 21. No, I mean, if they set like 20, 21, you're thinking, wow, I wish I'd went first now. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's just, you just live and die with your choices. He does have the option for the loss of turn here and, and can get the snooker off it. Yeah. 
he just made sure he'd get in the pocket there. Yeah, but I think he's left. I think he's left Jez a double here. Uh, well, maybe not. I mean, it's a thin cut in the middle, but he's losing the he's losing the weight a bit. Suppose it's the only shot he's got on though. Oh, nowhere. Yeah, got that wrong. He's a big shot maker, is Jez, but yeah. couldn't work that one out. Didn't have too much to, to go at. It, it did set me earlier when, um, after the match, he'd said, like, oh, I'd, missed, I'd missed a black to go 2 0 up against him. Um, and he said to me, he says, it was such a big point, he says, because I was so nervous coming into the match. So I think I think that is one thing he does suffer for his nerves. Yeah, early. I mean, I'm, I think we saw that in the previous in the previous match as well. I mean, our first quarter final, you know, with Tom Cousins and Luke Gilbert, you know, Tom obviously the number one player and Luke's just one, he's riding high and full of confidence. It was just two players going at it, you yeah. know, two players in full form. Yeah. But the prize on offer in the other three quarter finals is so big yeah. that I, I don't, won't surprise me if we see two more quarter finals like the one we've just seen. Definitely. I mean, I think that with a, maybe the exception is Chippy, because Chippy is like one of the worlds, and, yeah. but he's still not won like a, an individual title ultimate pool yet. Um, even though he's had good runs in the doubles and stuff, but yeah, I think I mean Chippy just flows regardless. But like Ryan and and Jez, they know they know this is a great chance to get to a semi final, um, maybe even further. Um, so yeah, it could, could be a bit nervy. And I, I think maybe Ryan's looking the more settled out of the two of them. He looks more composed. Yeah, the way he's gone about this since you know the initial miss from Jez, you know he's his solid match play didn't quite work it out yeah. in one visit, but plays the good loss of turn, the good snooker, exactly, nearly nearly a snooker, and gets his rewards by another opportunity and clinically puts it away. So it is Ryan Fleming that takes the opening frame. Yeah, the control. I don't know what he's saying nothing before he actually broke. Yeah. but the control. He's, he's unlucky. He's not got a ball because yeah. he's hit it so well. But the control he's got for not having his his chin on the cues is quite in incredible. To be honest. Yeah, he's given himself so much room, but it's amazing the the power he generates by having that sort of stood up break. Yeah, I mean, I, I think he can generate so much power with that, but it's just a control factor. Yeah. Um, and that's how, like, sometimes in, in practice and stuff like that, I've threw my arm at it and you, you really can smash them, but you can just lose the, the white ball. Um, but you see the power he's got on offer and he's actually given a really good split, just couldn't get one to fall. And it means yeah. Jez Graham's got the opportunity to get his first frame. And that's the thing, like, Ryan will be sitting there a little bit, like, he says, like he's not done any mistakes in that first frame. Because a, a lot of times when you do a mistake, you get punished that next frame. And Jez, if he to take this, all of a sudden he would just forget about that first frame. Well, you said that in your match against him, it was you know he 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 was he told you that he was nervous and edgy, and you know the second frame sort of settled him in. And this is the opportunity. It's not not coming off a, a mistake from Ryan, but it's an opportunity to to really settle in and find a finish here. Yeah, because if if you offer Jez this layout, can if he, I mean, he realistically would expect to take this nine times out of ten, probably ten out of ten. Um, but obviously it's, you're under pressure in a, a quarter final with a major event. So there's there's no such thing as a, a gimme. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice shot that because you can under hit that or over hit that there. I think you can just actually run on the eight ball here if he if he can't just kill the kill the white, but yeah I think he just runs on the eight ball. And this is the thing he does, he does flow jazz, like, he, even though he told me he looked nervous and stuff, like, he, when, he, when he's going about his business, he just flows, he's not, he doesn't hang about, and he looks, he looks confident when he's in this zone. Yeah, just floating around the table, just kind of all too easy for him, really nice. I played in the final of the British Open a few weeks ago, and it, I mean, it's, it's a little it's, bit for me and Tom, it's still a big final, so we treat it the way it is, but you would still like a wee, a wee crowd there. Yeah, you'd love a crowd, yeah. Has he been in three finals now, and all three of them in, in Stoke, and, and yeah. without the big crowd? Yeah, that's all I was missing. I just need the the crowd in Stoke. But no, listen, see if you tell me like I was going to win finals. I mean, players there, uh, sorry, support there, support not there. Your finals are, you just still want to be involved in them, because you still treat it big, you feel good. I mean, it's, it's massive. Um, yeah, Jez, Jez has had a good break there, like one straight back line, as yeah. well. And that's the thing, it's like, um, you just need to look at him here, he just looks like a different player for, for, for the first frame there. Um, and maybe that is, it's just one frame to get yourself settled, that's all it takes. 
Yeah, and sometimes the balls dictate, and the two layouts he's had since that opening frame have been very good. One off his, one off Ryan's. Yeah, because I mean, I, like I, I speak to people back home, and and like you'll get people that like are like amateur, like steady pub players and stuff, and yeah. we see when they see lay like, layouts less, they just think they're unmissable, which realistically they are at this level. But seeing until you're under that pressure, under the shot clock, you don't realise how much tougher it still becomes so you still need to get them and you, and that's why sometimes I get a wee bit frustrated when people say like oh they're done they're gone yeah it, I mean, because it, you still need to do it like they're not going to pot themselves prime example here you know Jez has left himself plumb straight which isn't the ideal he wanted an angle where he could yep. just come up to the middle of the table so I still fully expect him to get out and I'm sure he will but it's just creating work and definitely you know, it's one of those that you know it they're easy as long as you make them easy yeah I mean, Jez should really have been around about the blue spot for this ball, but yep. all of a sudden it's now double the length of, of what it should have been. Still fancy we get that, unless they stun the, stun the white dead, but yeah, a bit more pressure on this now. Lovely. Mm, hammers it home, but yeah, yeah, slightly lazy shot a couple of shots ago, just left him plumb straight, yeah. like nothing he could do. At least he gave us a wee chance to build it up. <coughs> but yeah, it's another, another good finish there for Jez. But that's just the standard, like, there, there's no guarantees, uh, uh, like, oh, he's a big, big favourite. I mean, they're always a favourite in paper because of what they've done. Um, um, and just we were talking about that there, another, another frustrating break for Ryan. He hit them well again. Yeah, controlled that white ball great and, and to be honest, no ball even threatened a bag, which is unfortunate there. Such a frustrating game when you're not getting the breaks. And as a player, you don't really want to kind of uh, keep going on about it and say, oh, that's the reason like, I struggled. But in, in real terms, if you're not getting a ball off the break, Simon, you're going to struggle. Um, that is a beyond end all of it, but it swings and roundabouts. So I'm a big believer in that. I guess if you are going to break dry, though, you wouldn't mind. This isn't the worst leave. Yeah, no. Well, I was playing Dave Fernandez out in the outside tables earlier on, and I'd done the cardinal sin, what you don't want to do when you break. I put the white off the table. Yeah. And Dave didn't have a finish on. Because that's always a ball in hand anywhere, which makes it even easier. And, and he still yeah, didn't have a finish. He didn't have a finish no. on. But I didn't apologise right there and then because like I thought if, if he ends up getting something, I'm apologising for him getting it. But yeah, he, 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 he missed his second last ball or something. But yeah, it's a lot of times that will not harm, especially on the like, kind of main tables. Yeah, so this could be a tactical exchange for a little while here. Just why it while this one unfolds, right at the bottom of the table makes reds really awkward. Obviously they're clustered together at the top, but you feel like you could pick them off yeah. if you wanted to. Yeah. See, for me, Ryan could have went straight into his bad yellow, but I think because he had such a great angle to go on his other kind of uh, awkward yellow, he's, he's decided against it and then um, decided to go down for that, which, I mean, you can't grumble either way. Yeah, well, I didn't realise this yellow passed the eight ball, so obviously yellow becomes a, an option. He yeah. now has one bad yellow at the top of the table. The rest actually okay. Yeah. Mm, I don't know if he's a little hampered here. Like maybe just queue by the side of the eight ball. I mean, worst case, obviously that, that yellow on the left hand side, they could get some sort of a double into the middle if he didn't manage to get in. But there is a little space he could get in behind it as well. Oh, he doesn't want to nudge it closer. I think he could maybe just drop this one in the middle and then leave the angle. Because if he just come below the just come below the, the, the yellow can be furthest down the table towards us. Just depends, he might actually be able to even just leave on the angle and try and try and just kind of go in between the yellow and red and, and play for it into the middle. Everybody's different the way they the way they go about things. He's definitely too far to come behind that. Yeah. And the longer he leaves it, the harder it's getting. Yeah. I mean, he, he might just consider... Yeah, I don't even think he can put this and miss the, the reds. I think it's just full-blooded right into the yellow, Simon. Yeah. Yeah, it's so hard to get that to come out from there. You, yeah. You're sending a yellow into a group of four reds. The chances there were so slim. Oh. But he's, he's actually, you would take that because he's still got a shot here, I think. If that's not touching the yellow, I think I think he's still got a double on here, which is, is okay. And the eight ball's not exactly, isn't, isn't tied up. So, yeah, he's still got a, a, a decent shot. Good shot. Oh. 
So that was good there. I mean, Ryan, I probably fancied himself to get that maybe seven, eight times out of ten, seven at least. You could tell straight away he was happy with the outcome of yeah, the hundred percent breakout. But that's the thing; it's like you've just cleared the table for um, for your opponent. I think Jez was going down to just play the play the plant there and try and screw in. He's bad, but I think it's a bit thinner. But yeah, it's a bit thinner than they thought. Oh my god! Oh, didn't think that was going to drop for a second. Yeah, that was that was decent. Yeah, here we shake the head. <laughs> just tease him, Ryan, a little bit out there. Yeah. I played for a couple of shots quite weird. Would you be happy with a plant now, leaving that late on? I mean, I, otherwise I was thinking, could you get rid of the red nearest the pocket now, deal with the top yeah. two, leave the one on the cushion as your last ball? Yeah, I mean, definitely hard to get rid of the, the, the balls up in the, in the top left there because like, you don't really fear things up cushion, Simon. Um, so, I, I, I mean, he might leave a plant, but I, I couldn't... Uh, I couldn't think in worse. I mean, the plant's so gettable because you can hit the ball. You could pretty much nearly hit that red straight on at a good pace, and like the bag would accept it. But, um, no, I'd like to get rid of the, the one next to the yellow up top and the one up top left. Yeah, and that's why he's leaving the one next to the eight ball because that could be like a ball to get back onto the one that's close to the middle bag if he can't go on it just now. I think he can get out here. He could have got absolutely right behind the uh, the plant, though, from the angle he had on the one by the eight ball. He could have just come across the table, and if he landed on it, it you don't expect him to miss it. No. But I understand why he didn't want to, but um, will he get better on it? Yeah, I, th I, th I think he can play as a two-way shot. Yeah, I, mean, I think I think he's actually OK. He's still stun over. Um, if he gets anywhere close to the, the, left, the left side of the cushion, I think he's OK, but... Um, I just nah, there's no way I could have ever played for a plant in my life there, Simon. No. no. Well, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't clear the ones at the top as yeah, earlier no, on, but once he got I to know, where he did, yeah. Definitely, I, I mean, I, I'm with you. If he got on the plant good, I think it's yeah. pretty unmissable. Yeah, I mean, this is a little further away than he wanted to be, but he, he would still fancy getting this. Yeah. And he's punched in confidently. I, I would have been, been rolling that and <laughs> Giving it every chance. Yeah, but that's, that's the sign of confidence right there. Yeah, he plays that beautifully. Yeah, um, um, and it's back to his. I think it's back to his break. His break as well. Ryan's not made a pull off a break yet. Yeah, it's costing him at the moment. Normally, a very reliable break for Ryan, but not yet. Yeah, and also a break from Jez. I mean, Jez, but Jez has definitely took some stuff off his break here because he normally breaks bigger than this. But when the balls are splitting open, you're getting a ball. Like you don't really need to be absolutely smashed them 100 mile an hour I mean the control of the white ball there was perfect yeah right up down the middle table yeah and, and the bonus the yellows will come out I mean reds are okay as well bar the one on the right but the yellows are, are, are lovely maybe just his first shot he's, he would maybe has to come into the other yellow but, but um, I think it's within his within his means to control it I don't know if he can dig enough into it just to kind of catch a half ball so the white's going up the table Simon um, because coming in at the underside I don't think is really any good because the, the yellow below the 8-ball doesn't go into the right-hand side. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's fine. Yeah, just let, sort of played it nice and slow, allowed it to yeah. really grip and just get high enough. Yeah, as long as you had the, the, the right side and the, and the white was going, going up the table, he was always going to bond something. Yeah, he's certainly looking sharp out there right now. Yeah, so I think he's just all connect perfect. I think he just because the, the yellow below the eight ball, he's obviously going to probably leave that to last. Um, and also the yellow on the right hand side next to the reds, that will be his second last ball, and he'll just track through. Um, so he can be on his his last yellow just below the eight ball. That's why I'm surprised he didn't take this one first, and then take the two up the top. Because for me, he needs to get back on the one just below the, uh, just above the blue spot. Yeah, and dead straight would be yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect, yeah. Is he going over the one next to the eight ball just now? Yeah, 
that's fine, but it's, it's a shot I didn't think he needed to play, but I think it's just because of where he landed, he's had to. Yeah, it's come out nice, but getting from this one now to the, the one in the middle of the table is the tough, yeah. tough shot. Because the harder you play this, the more it could kind of be skidding banana. Yeah, I don't think this is a good angle at all. Well, he can he maybe screw back in this? I mean, I don't know if he can maybe even screw back in between the, the red and yellow. Well, he was looking to see if he hits the red full in the face. Yeah. What's he going to leave? Yeah, exactly what he's done. Just yeah. plays it at a pace where the red gets out of the way. Yeah. It's a good shot because yeah. he's got a free shot. N not a free shot, but as in the, 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 the room to play the shots there. Yeah, know. and he only has to stun off on and off the cushion. Um, just to create the line where, it, where the yellow is just now, anywhere round about there. Um, if he's straight on his last yellow, be good for the black. Oh, no. Whoa. No, he I was looking so good and just threw one in there. Yeah, I did, I, he didn't have to really do a lot with the white because he just had to just punch it on and off. I think that, as you say, was a bit of a quick one now. Yeah, just, yeah, they didn't even pause there. It. it was just straight back and forth. But yeah, listen, Ryan will be delighted with that because, um, as I said, Jez was looking good there. I think if Ryan wasn't hampered there, he'd be, be screwing into his bad ball, but... I mean, the red just below the... The red just below the middle bag on your hand side obviously doesn't go anywhere. But the one just below it, if you go on that, just kind of off angle, you could play a wee delicate screw shot on it and, and develop it good. Because I don't... I don't even think that one just below the middle double Simon, didn't I? Could be a double kiss. Yeah, it's really awkward. Yeah. Because even if the red bloat wasn't on it, it's still awkward. There's still an awkward pot down in the bottom right. Um, so I think he was trying to come down table and get an angle. Because he had the angle first time on, on the one he's closest to, but I think he was just a little hampered. Um, yeah, and it's, it's, for me, it's a big it's a big visit. Huge, I feel. Three, two, four, one's always a big frame anyway, but the fact that Jez has had an opportunity here. Yeah, I mean, I think he can put this and come around three angles. I was just screwing straight up and down. I didn't know the angle for that. That needs to slow down a little. Mm. That's why you just you just need to get into them as early as possible, didn't you, yeah. Simon? I mean, obviously he's tried to get the angles, but the more it just kind of it just becomes so much harder, the more you're you're chasing it. Looks like he fancies taking it on. It's quite thin. Shot. Sure. He's got a good angle here. But the only thing is, like, I mean, you're not guaranteed to be on something. I think worst case scenario, if he wasn't on the one he's canning into, he would be on the one below the, the eight ball. It would leave a thin cut. Um, but yeah, it's kind of in the, the hands of the god here. Played it with quite a lot of pace. Yeah, I think it was one of the ones you had to just caress it in. Yeah. That's what I was expecting, because if you get the full ball cannon, you're guaranteed to be on the one at the bottom. Yeah. I know it's thin, but you'd expect to make it. And at least I guarantee yourself. I mean, you still get like, some shot, a shot here, but it's certainly he would be promoting that other one. Say it was kind of just over the middle and he couldn't pot it, but at least he would have a pot below the one below the eight ball. Gave him the best option as well, because even if he didn't knock it on to the middle, he might have knocked it on to the corner. And, yeah, exactly. You know, he had more options with less pace. He's trying to play a nine ball shot, brilliant. Kick and stick, as I think they call that. In the Kick nine and ball. stick. Yeah, yeah, he's played it pretty well. Yeah, but, but, but listen, Jez will be delighted he's back at the, yeah. the table. I mean, I, I don't know if Jez might even be interested in playing the double because it's, a, for me, like a free shot, he's maybe thinking. Or does he just try and come below the eight ball again? It's one of the ones where you can you accept if you miss it. Ah, he's going for the double 100%. See, I like that shot because it's a free shot. Yeah, brilliant. Because if he tries to play safe there and then Ryan ends up getting the finish, yeah. you're thinking, and I you're wish I just went for it. And you're not leaving a particularly good chance on the, the Reds anyway, even if you did miss yeah, it. So Ryan, Ryan still has to queue a ball up the rail there. He's played that well as well. So that's eight ball then for a 4-1 lead. Yeah, big frame. Big frame. Ryan's break next, but... I mean, he, he's been hitting the he's been hitting the brakes well, but just not been getting the the balls down. But what Phil did it by standing, whereas Ryan stays up there before. Yeah. 
And I think that w w oh, he's not going to be dry again, is he? Because yeah, he's hit them brilliantly. And I'll look at the yellows too. Yeah, that's tough. That is tough. Yeah, frustrating. I mean, he didn't control the way he, the way he's normally done. It was tracking towards the 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 bag up the top left, but I mean, he still hit them so well. Um, and and that's uh, they've not even really threatened the bag. That's that's been the thing with the three with the three breaks, and you can only f you can only feel bad for people. But listen, as a player, when your opponent's breaking, you want them going dry. I mean, that's that is a be all and end all. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's one thing I've kind of tried to learn and and accept. Like, I don't feel sorry when my opponent goes dry with me. I yeah. mean, it's tough to take when it's happened to you, but. You can't uh, just expect everybody to feel sorry for you because you're going dry. You know, and it's yeah. you, you see it more than me, Simon. You yeah. you commentating always a lot of matches, but I mean, as a shame, like like you can always like you can always like, and if uh, you've been a player yourself, you, you you can feel sorry for them and stuff. But I mean, it's it's just you have to take the good with the bad, don't you? I mean, it's like yeah. I mean, sometimes it it comes down to can you take enough? You know, the chances that come your way. And, yeah. You know, you can look at the you know the dry breaks at the wrong time, and obviously. Your perfect person to talk about it because you, you, your break dried up in the the British Open final at the wrong time. Didn't need to talk. No, about no, no. <laughs> but it's, it's you know my point. My point being, you know, that you you're going to get chances, yeah. and you just it's how you deal with when you get to the table and, and staying in that positive mindset. Because okay, you know Ryan might get cleared up here, and and it could be five one, but whenever Ryan next comes to the table, he's got to be positive about it. And he's yeah. got to, he's got to believe that break will turn around as well. Well, I, I seen Ryan's status um, when he played Phil Park in his last match, and he was 6-5 down with four minutes to go, um, and he reversed dish and broken dish. So Phil's obviously went dry with, with his dish, you know, so yeah. he, I mean, it, that's it, always unlucky with Phil. But as I say, Ryan would have been 100, oh, that's not good. Ryan would have been 100% wanting Phil to go dry. Yeah. Um, but as I say, when you sit in the commentary box, it's easier to say that. And when you're out there, you still feel, oh, of course, you feel hard done by. I mean, I think the person you only need to watch is somebody like Cole Bedford. <laughs> you certainly know where you stand. Really, he wears his heart on his sleeve. He's so good to watch. Um, yeah, it's, it's tough. That, that was a poor shot from Jez because this should have been a fairly routine reverse clearance, and all of a sudden he's working really hard here. Yeah, and he's yeah. going to give up the chance. So the dry break doesn't mean anything here because it means that Ryan Fleming is getting to the table anyway. And he's arguably getting to the table in a better position for it because he's favourite for this frame now. Yeah, but he needs to really set out his stall now and think: Am I going to attack or am I going to like play a, a a good shot, a good safety shot? But the only thing is, I mean, there's not really a lot of places where you can actually play a good safety shot here. But the attacking kind of method isn't really the one either. Yeah, there's not actually a good shot on. No, nothing obvious. But you would still rather he's always done what he's done. You're back at the table. Yeah, it's not easy to see. You just try to come in and hunt the in behind the eight ball here. Yeah, he's got the cover on the one on the left hand side, but he has left the one at the top of the table. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Jez can hold to there if he's if he's going to try and cut this one back. But well, he just looked at yellow off yellow as well. Interestingly. No, I think he was looking to see if he could just hold it on the bulk line. Oh, I see he, what you he, mean. He see if he could, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. He could cut the yellow yeah, line because yeah. I think that's that's how it was a bad shot. Because when he snuggled himself on that red, if he was where the red was, he was perfect. He just stunned that other one in that he's going for just now. But yeah, that was tough to try and hold. Yeah. Well, if he's got the gap, he's been very fortunate. He might have. Yeah, that looks great. And that's right down Ryan's yeah. line as well. Getting down quickly. He has to try to put side on it, I think, here, but myself, mm, I think that was more hope than not there. Yeah, that tells us he's not quite on it. So, he, is yeah. He, has he got the yellow one off the, the second red out? Or is he just toying with? I think he's going to play this off the red, Simon. He already tried a, a, a shot off the red earlier. Oh, he's got it. Oh, that's, per that's good this time. And that, that red's not come across and, and, and blocked it, the eight ball. It's just. It's just about how he can get out here. I don't know. I don't know if he can avoid the red, the, the yellows closest to. Does he play the double and try and screw straight back out? But for me, you have to go for the pot here, didn't you? Like, and just just chance luck. Yeah. Unless he can get out. With, like, with, with, I mean, for me, I think he's crashed into a few reds here. Anything other than a four ball cannon, yeah. though, you feel like he's going to get a shot. 
No, he, he followed your, your advice. He went the double. That's a good. Sh I mean, he's always a thought. Listen, if I get a double, I'm guaranteed a shot in the yeah. eight ball. Whereas if I go for the pot and trust to luck, I might not be on it. So he's just treated that as his, his eight ball there. Well, this will be a serious four ball out. Yeah. This really will be, and this will be a hammer blow for Ryan Fleming. He was in a tough spot, no doubt about it, but this would be serious. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, and just to wow. add insult to injury, the cue ball stops on the pocket. Wow, tough one for the Scotsman to take. It was actually it was Ryan. It was Ryan. Ryan was 6-5 up and Jack's played a safety. And Ryan's played a crazy three ball plant and yeah, ended up getting exactly, a crazy out. Exactly, yeah, that was exactly what happened. Jack would have thought he was coming back to the table and and, and he didn't. This is going to be an interesting frame though. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, always uh, this is now three years and a bit that we've been playing these rules, Simon, but so, some people are still kind of uh, trying to pick the rules up as they go. Cause, I mean, I had done it earlier on, I played a four ball <laughs> plant. Yeah, and that I was could, amazing. I, I couldn't believe it. I, I was still questioning it because I couldn't believe I'd done it. Um, I'd done it in the against somebody in the, the British Open as well where I, I was touching ball after the break I didn't know that rule yeah <laughs> um, and the like referee called lost your turn and I was I was perplexed with that yeah there's uh, and what you're referring to obviously is trying to work out how you deal with an eight ball being over the pocket yeah, like this yeah 100% because like there's um, obviously it's, you don't get a lot of tactical frames with these rule sets uh, especially with the clock and stuff like that because you've not really got time to think about your shot whereas on the outside tables you see the odd more, you, know, you see uh, like a couple more tactical kind of frames because you have got that kind of time to think about some shots. Yeah. Um, but no, this is, it's, 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 it's a ma I mean, I've said it over the last couple of frames, but it is a massive frame for Ryan. I feel like Ryan's done the right thing. He's got himself a, the colour set, which is red, because the yellow by the eight ball is a, a real problem. Looks like he fancies a finish here. Yeah. He's always looking at it as a free finish because obviously Jez is probably wouldn't be attacking because the yellow is up next to the eight ball. Um, but I think he wanted to be to be straighter in this. Do you think those the red plants through the the gap? It must, because it it looks very tight from the overhead. Yeah. And it doesn't look on, but he's like looked at it a few times. Yeah, I mean for the overhead, it doesn't even look as if it goes by the yellow. Yeah, it's amazing how the the camera angles work. Oh well. In the end, he's just decided lost a turn. He's pulled back yeah. it. And the thing is, Jez will not mind a wee kind of five six minute safety for him. Yeah. Know what I mean? Um, there's no way Jez will entertain anything here. He'll just. I'd imagine he'll just touch his bottom yellow, or he should be. Yeah, but Jez is. is he's got so many shots in his mind yeah, that he's so aggressive. He believes he can pull off the miraculous yeah. that. But sometimes the situation dictates and 5 1 up, 17 50 left, and this layout, you, you cannot push the boat out. It no. is just slow down. And make Ryan make a low percentage finish. Yeah, just make it. Oh, there's no one that going. That, it should be anywhere near there, to be honest. But yeah, he's lucky that's held up. But yeah, just sometimes you have to just go against your instinct and not go for the finish, especially on on the clock, um, like on the match table when, when you're playing against a clock. Because at five one up, you would take five, six, seven minutes if the frames all day, even if you lose it. I mean. Would you take a, interesting, if, if you're Ryan, would you rather lose the frame in in a minute, as in get that eight ball just gone and no. try and do it from six one down, or is it worse to, to lose seven minutes off the match clock? Yeah, well, I mean, five, two with seven minutes off, obviously we don't know if that's how long yeah. it will take, but yeah. um, no, I think you'd rather win it because you could do three frames in ten minutes, especially yeah. on the 15 second shot clock, you know what I mean? Um, so that you definitely I mean, you, still couldn't, you couldn't you could ever never ever do it but no no exactly it's just the worst case for, for Ryan really he finally gets a dry break from Jez but it's this layout already 5-1 down and I mean he's left my finish on here that's that's a strange shot because I think everything goes now for Ryan because the, the right hand yellow definitely because I know the yellow at the middle um, the left one of the three reds goes down bottom right which would open the, the other the other red. I think that's what he needs to do. Go on that the left. Yeah, that's perfect. I think he should be taking this one long first, Simon, um, and then taking the one over the taking the one over the middle. Although the, the middle with the three reds goes down at the bottom left. That might be his plan here. Just yeah. Yeah, 
a strange shot from Jez. Yeah, it was a strange shot from Jez. Last thing he wanted to do was just give a, you know, it's one thing to ask Ryan to come up with a low percentage yeah. finish, but this is one he should get. Yeah, because all the Jez is just setting out there to try and take as much time off the clock as possible, but that was certainly a weird, a weird shot. He's just really gifted Ryan the frame. That's certainly a, a good chance at the frame. Now then, does this red I don't think. I mean, it'll certainly make it easier if the red goes, but the way he's looking, I think he's having to take it into the bottom right. Yeah, which goes back to the decision you were talking about yeah, two shots ago. Just take it, just take it when he was straight on it to the bottom right. Just get it yeah. out of the way. Because he would have come back for his red and, and, and off the out of the middle. I mean, I, I still fancy him getting on it, but. Tricky shot now. Yeah, because he's got to worry about slightly overrunning the cue ball here as well. Yeah, well, I think if he's on the if he's on the top cushion, I think he's he's okay. So he just has to make sure the pox. I think he's naturally just the weight would naturally take him up onto the, the top cushion. But it's just a tougher shot than it should have been. And at five one down. Yeah, nice shot. I think he's still okay. You can just come off the cushion if if need be, but I think he's okay. Yeah, worked it all out very well. In the end, did Ryan Fleming, and he does get the frame on the board a little bit quicker than I think either of us thought that was going to end up as well. Definitely, yeah. um, and it's back to his break. Uh, aye, back to his break, so uh, yeah, a big frame there. 5 2 or, or 6 1, but. Yeah. Well, oh, he deserves that. <laughs> well, that yellow's not yeah. the was close, but he definitely wouldn't have deserved that, but. Yeah, Finally, that's just what he's been looking for. He flushed it again. Definitely. Yeah. The control he has is amazing, but a lot of that's to do with, we talked about Phil Harrison having that stand-up break, but Phil stands up on it. Yeah. Whereas Ryan, he starts stood up, so he doesn't move, and his head is very still when he hits the break. Allows him to get that quality of contact. And it gets a beautiful chance off it as well. Yeah, that's a lovely shot. He's played for his bad ball right away. Yeah, maybe an hour, a couple of ball rolls, but he would still, I think he would still take this. But you can just flow over for the for the, for his R yellow next to the the red on the left hand side. Oh wow! Asked a lot of it there. Pockets can play a little bit generous, but yeah. not on that occasion. It's a big chance there, and that's the first time he caught a ball as well off his break, and realistically it's a chance that Ryan would have probably fancied. That was frame ball in his mind, I think, as well, wasn't it? That drops in. Yeah. He feel feel like he's out. Yeah, I mean, Jez, all the reds go apart for you. I mean, all the red probably would double it to some extent, but... It's, it's a tricky wee, it's always a tricky wee spot. The closer they are, look, look, the closer the middle bag is when it's right on the, right on the cushion. Ooh, I think Jez is, Jez is feeling a bit, and that, he's not even got the bag there. Yeah, he's had a couple of that in the match, hasn't he? Just yeah. whereas, it looked, he's looked good for large majorities of the match. Just a couple of those been thrown in amongst. Well, he, pun he punched one in that was tougher earlier on, and that one he's, he's tried to roll it, and obviously, I think Jez is more of a puncher than his rolling yeah, balls. Yeah, I think it's a fair it's point. Kind of similar to myself, I'm, I would rather punch balls in than roll them. Um, but I think when you try and roll them in, it's kind of when you're less confident. Um, but he's just, I mean, he's just gave Ryan a great chance now. I, mean, I don't think Ryan would have expected to back at the table as, as, as soon as that. And all of a sudden, we thought it was going to be still the, the, the last frame going down into 10 minutes and all of a sudden it's two frames within that that, that space at the, that time. Still has to make sure he gets his and that's why I think he's just taking, his, taking a bit more extra time. I heard him speak to you earlier on where he says um, he likes to process things more when he sees the first shot, he likes to just double check and yeah. and I think that's why he just struggles with the, with the 15 second shot clock a wee bit. Yeah, and I think players that are like that, it's worth working on it when they're in the 30 oh, as well because it, it stops that transition yeah. being so severe. Because somebody like Mellon, like Mellon, just first shot, I mean, realistically, normally the first shot you see is, is the shot you will play. Yeah. Um, the odd time it might it might not be, but 
I mean, very. I mean, when we break the balls, we can see the route inside like five, six seconds. Yeah. I mean, that's how quick you see the route. So normally you do, you do, um, you do take that first, like the first shot you see. You normally play that. Yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. All of a sudden, Jesse breaks massive now, and he's been breaking quite well. Yeah, five one becomes five three. Yeah, makes it a one break game. And is it going to be a case of hey, Ryan's getting the the wee bit of form in the, the later stage of the match with the breaks, and that's sometimes like what you have to believe in when it swings and roundabouts. Yeah, he could well be. Ryan's done what he had to do, make the clear the clearance on the second occasion. I, I mean, if I was going to go for that, yeah. I, I wouldn't mind a dip yeah, yeah, after that. Absolutely, you know? I think everyone would snap your hand off for that, what he achieved in a very short space of time. Crowned his career. I think he's done everything he wanted to do in the game. I think he's more, more than anything else. It's yeah, I think it was just missing that Worlds winner. I yeah. think that was a, the, the big one for him. Yeah. I mean, to be still competing always after all the years, it's, uh, it shows you how good, how good Ron actually is. And he's yeah. another player that's under the weather as well. Yeah, 100%. Look at this for a break with Jez. Wow. Oh my god, he's on yeah. that red, I think, as well, isn't he? To the middle, left middle. And Ryan sat there thinking, you broke dry in the yeah. previous frame and you left, left nothing. nothing. And then look at this. That's He's not even crunched him, yeah. Simon. That just shows you, like, if it just explode, like, uh, I mean, you can hit the brakes similar all the time and just. <laughs> it's weird how brakes work, isn't it? It's just yeah. mental. The quality of that strike, and they just. Lie. Not unless he's not on this ball, but I mean, it definitely looks as if he has. As if he has. Yeah, it looks like he's on the, on yeah, the red. Quite comfortably. Yeah. Is he just maybe scared of the off a bit? I think natural angles just up and down. Yeah, he's on that. Just try to milk it. Oh my, oh my word! He said the yellow. That's unbelievable. And see, the thing is, it's it's actually okay because. He's actually a result, isn't Aye. it? Like he's not. I mean, I, I think Ryan could maybe cut that in, but it's very, very thin. But I wow! Mean, when the break came out the way it did, though, Ryan should be thrilled that he's got to the table. Oh, 100 percent. But to watch your opponent play a shot like that and, and not leave you on is yeah. Those wondering why it's not a foul. Yeah. It's an open table, so hitting the yellow just means it, it just turns exactly. the table over. One big pot here. I mean, he's always like the one on the ball line, but just has to cue it in. Great Brilliant. Shot. Oh no. Well, that would have been an injustice. That would have been tough. It's actually a landed really, really good Simon. <laughs> yeah. he can do, I think he can just run over for his his ball on the, the right hand side. Yeah, yeah, and he wants to go for a wonder again, but we, this is the thing, it's the transition into the fifteen seconds. You've got it this is why if you can make it more natural. Yeah, see that's he's just rushed down there and he's half thinking about I'm still not I don't know where I'm playing this white kind of thing. Yeah, that's. I mean, that, that, to be fair, that's just a natural position. Like you should just be concentrating on the pot there. Like that, that's as you say. You need to try and work that if that's your weak point. Oh my god. Yeah. So after such an excellent opening shot from Ryan, he's going to have to sit there and and hope that he gets back to the table yeah. here. People don't realise how quick that 15 seconds is. It is. Like brutal. see if you want to go and look at angles. You've you've not got a chance. I mean, this is what we're talking about. Ryan's natural instinct is on every single shot is to, to go and look at it from both yeah, sides of the yeah. table, which you, you just can't do as a natural instinct. And this is what we're just talking about Jez there. That was a fantastic pot. And like the, the frame before, it was dead hesitant. Yeah. And he just goes down and punched that in there. And the one where he hit yeah. the yellow was, was a, another one where exactly. he was just trying to slowly, you know, float it in. Even that shot there, digging down, like he just made it look so easy. Yeah, that's will be a big, I mean... Don't get me wrong, Jez, when he broke, should have been taking that finish, but unless that was tighter than we always have thought, but it looked as if it was quite easy, but yeah, Ryan will be kicking himself there, that's yeah. that's a great chance for Ryan. Yeah, once he makes that bot to the top right, you feel like he's got to get out there. I mean, it was just natural, wasn't it? Yeah. Just pop, 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 and you're out, you're done, and you're 5-4, and you have the break, and all of a sudden, you let it go. Three frames now. Oh, no. And you know, Pool just seems yeah. to always punish you a bit. I mean, he has had a few dry breaks, but he has, he has over the last few frames, had the chances, Simon, to get back into the match. Yeah, I mean, from where he was, realistically, this could be a one-frame game right now. 
not a three frame game. I think he'd want to be red too, he doesn't have a red on. Maybe clip the one he's back next to, but I don't think that's on actually, so it's yellows. Yellows are tough, but this might be more of a match play situation and just get your colour set and start making a mess. The only thing is, saying that I do think that yellow that closest to the top left will go in by the oh, red. Okay, I was assuming that that didn't go. Yeah, so I, I mean, but the only, if, he, if he was leaving it for like a plant, say, that then makes it tougher because... Oh, that was tight. I think it was just okay, but normally they go and check that, didn't they, when they hear that Joe buzzer? Yeah, I think he's accepted it's just okay. Yeah. Gut feel was that was just okay. Yeah, it was tight. As I was saying, like see if you play the plant, I think the, the, the first yellow you'd be hitting goes to the left, which would be no good. Yeah, I think you just set out shop to go game here and just try and kill some time, but that's there's still a good bit of time left to do that. way he played that I don't think he was trying to make it no no chance just trying to make a mess make yeah. it awkward make it you mean we're down to five and a half minutes now yeah just take some more time off the clock because Ryan's got Ryan's got nothing Ryan will just clip off this red prowl and try and put the try and put the yellow over the hole and just lost a turn as he goes smash in them Jink just cause you the, he has cause to. against the time oh yeah good shot good shot yeah, full reward for yeah. the aggression. Now he's got to get out quick. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like all these, just like you don't really need to think about these. I mean, always down the bottom left there. I mean, but I think it's an easy plant. Like yeah. I don't think. I mean, I think you'd even got on the bottom cushion and and, um, and put that one along the like that's closest to the closest to the bag. But I think it's a very gettable, a very gettable plant. Mental. Yeah, strange shot. Yeah, that's trying to move them from there. Obviously, he's trying to move the one red and be on the other, but he's probably still going to get out here. But I just think that was a risk he didn't need to take. But it's worked in his favour. I mean, for me, this finish was harder than the one like you just missed there. Yeah, you know what I mean. Quite, by, by, I think, quite a bit as yeah. well. Yeah. You need to dig down, I think, the, in the eight ball here, because I think that's an actual run off. Good shot. Oh, no, that's an off. Where's the cue oh, ball? no, no, no. Wow. Ooh. It stays on the table. Keeps himself alive just. Yeah, it's perfect that again. But. Oh, uh, is that He's last red? One. No. No. Well, Ryan, what have you got then? Uncomfortable red. time for Jez Graham yeah. coming up. I mean, I think I think these reds are all good because does that yellow? Does that red got by the yellow? Jink? I'm not sure it passes the yellow. There is a. Uh, there is a gap. Yeah. Oh, no, Ryan. I think still getting off the yellow. That's cool, but overhead it might go. You know. Yeah. For the overhead, it did look good. I mean, there is a wee like gap through the, the five yellows but it's always very precise to get it in the middle. Whoa. That's fine. I mean the other shot you could play as well is like uh, is uh, the the red that's closest to the, the top left um, is well the top right the top left as we look now. You could use that as his second last ball. That was mental Ryan. Wow. I act like I believe the shot offs he can still play the red and off the yellow, but for me, he didn't need to do that. I felt like everything had a pocket, everything had a yeah. way. He, 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 he could have dropped that and took the one below the eight. Oh, Ryan will watch that bang. Ugh, that, that's actually amazed me, Simon. Especially when you're against the time. 100%. Yeah. He did not need to smash that like that. I don't even know what he was trying to like accomplish. Yeah, turning the table over really doesn't do him yeah. any favours, so he, it's just a bit of a nightmare visit to the table really for Ryan. Hasn't happened for him, hasn't happened for him in the match, to be honest. See if that was like a question sport now when they used to ask you what would happen next. What happens next, you wouldn't that, believe that. That, is, that. that would be a million miles away from anything I thought. That was, 
the only thing that could happen with that shot was making your balls worse. Yeah. Like you could never ever really promote them. Yeah, and Jez is just going to torture Ryan here. Yeah. Calls his extension, takes his time. What a really, really good chance here for Ryan. He'll feel as if this is a big chance to miss this, this whole match because he's just no. I know obviously his first few, I think his first three breaks were dry, but um, I think he did get a chance in one of them. Um, he's had some chances in all his other frames, but yeah, it's just slipped away. He'll feel as if he's kind of he done himself a wee bit injustice in this match because he's, he's always been playing well all weekend. I mean, if Ryan could, could make contact with this red and get it enough the yellow as a chance. Ooh, does get it in, but doesn't open up the last one. I mean, there's only just over a minute left. He's going to have to just drop this in the middle and then find a way. And if he can drop it, and then he can maybe play a double into the bottom. I don't even know if he can ball up double into the bottom right. Any suggestions, Simon? None. Mm. Answers in a postcard, I think. Grazed off the yellow there. <laughs> Very nearly. That uh, will be it yeah, though. Yeah, 45 seconds. Lap of honour coming up for Jez yeah. Graham here. The best feeling in pool. New feeling in pool as well because you kind of yeah, well, never won till you'd won, whereas you now you have won yeah, before yeah, you yeah. won. Because we spoke about it as well with, with Sean Story had in his last match in the Champions League there. I know, I know you weren't there on Monday night, but like the, the last match was irrelevant, so like Sean could just like relax and yeah. and play it. Whereas normally every time you come like come to a match, you're, you're plenty to win. Like you, you really need to win yeah. as much as Sean was always still trying to win. But yeah, both players now know the result here. Jez Graham's going to be into the semi-finals of Pro Series Three. He actually played some really stuff, good stuff early in this match. Got himself five one in front, playing some really good ball. Got scrappy towards the end, but it is Jez Graham that moves on to the semi-finals. Scott's going to be a tough one for Ryan. He knows coming into this quarter-final that what an opportunity it was to to not just win this match, but you know go deep, make a final, maybe get a hands on a title, but.